Hi guys, my name is Ozzy, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial video on how to tell if a hundred dollar bill is real or fake. So I gotta play smart. I've been getting dope teams every time my phone rings. It's your I did a video on this two years ago, back in 2018, but I was using a camera lens that was specifically designed for taking pictures, so every time the camera would autofocus, it made this really annoying creaking sound, and I got that comment a lot, and I still uploaded the video anyway, because at the time I was waiting for the new camera lens to appear in the mail. I didn't really even have to explain that to people, but I just felt like I should make an updated video for the sake of quality upkeep on this channel. And basically... I have this uh, better lens, so you're not going to hear that autofocusing sound when the camera autofocuses. And it's going to continue to autofocus several times because it keeps recognizing the $100 bill's face, Benjamin Franklin. So, one of the big things that you want to look out for, oh yeah, before I continue, the real $100 bill is on the bottom, and the fake one is on the top. So, a lot of people know that this is actually pretty common, as you can see. If you shift the hundred dollar bill up, down, left, and right, you'll see like the small hundred dollar, the small letter, not the letters, small numbers on the hundred shift back and forth. If you can see, it shifts because it's a hologram. So that should be a dead giveaway. And if they're somehow able to replicate that on the hundred dollar bill, then that means whoever's counterfeiting has got some got a lot of money on the hand because this stuff is not cheap. So you can see this doesn't even this doesn't even move. It just literally stays there. And then another common thing to look out for is when you have a hundred dollar bill, as you can see, the circle right here, if you put it up to the light, I'll go ahead and put like a screenshot of image, you'll see Benjamin Franklin's face in that circle right here, that oval. And this can be used to tell if a bill is real just for five dollar bills, ten dollar bills, and fifty dollar bills as well. The only one that you can't use this trick for is for $1 bills. And another thing that you want to look out for is the bell. As you can see, on the real $100 bill, there's a copper bell. Go ahead, focus it real quick. And the copper bell, it's like, it has this glitter effect. So when you shift it, you'll see like it shines and it has, it has a texture to it. So you can actually feel like the, the glitter on it. Whereas on the fake, it just has the colors for it, but it's missing the actual glitter, the actual glitter design. So let me go ahead and put them both up for comparison so you can see a little bit closer. You can see the glitter on the bell literally shines on the real, and on the fake it doesn't shine at all because it doesn't have the glitter. And another cool thing that a lot of people don't know about, around the collar of uh, Benjamin Franklin's shirt, it says the United States of America in very small print and a lot of fakes miss this detail so if you look closely like right here let me go ahead and get this to focus it says the United States of America on his collar and it's printed out from right here from the very top to the very bottom so yeah I'll go ahead and I'll put a screenshot on the screen for that as well but that's just another thing to look out for. And if you look at the fake, it doesn't have it at all. It just has the collar. So it, literally no, no letters on there. So a lot of people don't know that. So I decided to go ahead and put that in an updated video because I forgot to mention that in the previous video. And another thing to note is that when you're looking at the lettering on a... Uh, not the on the printing around uh, Ben Franklin's shoulder, you'll feel texture. So like, because paper, because hundred dollar bills are not actually made out of paper, it's made out of linen and paper. So there's just a full counterfeiters when they're trying to make counterfeits. You can actually feel the texture of the paper. So when you feel around the collar, you can feel the texture raise on the printing. So like right here, it'll just raise up, and then you also feel the hologram as well. So, just another thing to look out for. And what else am I missing? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, for the colors for the $100 bill, you notice that there's like the blue and the gray. And it's like all the hues. If you look at the quill for the, like the, the quill pen that's right here, it's supposed to be a, a much lighter color. And they've got the color wrong on the fake $100 bill. 
Go ahead, bring them a little closer. So you can see the quill pen on the real hundred dollar bill is a lot lighter. They put too much color into into the fake one, so that's a dead giveaway. Same thing can be said for the Declaration of Independence. The lettering on the fake is faded out and it's not defined. So when you're reading the Declaration of Independence in the background of the $100 bill, you should be able to see the lettering very clearly. It shouldn't be hard to read. So make sure you always check that out when you're analyzing a $100 bill, giving it that quick run through. And man, one of my favorite things to do when I'm uh, looking at money to analyze it, you want to get a UV light. A UV light is very helpful when you're trying to tell if it's real or fake. So what I normally do is I go ahead and turn it on. UV light helps you expose so many small details. On a real hundred dollar bill, it's going to glow purple under the UV light. But on the fake, it glows blue. You see that? Go ahead and let the camera focus real quick. It glows blue on the fake and it glows purple on the real. I go ahead and flip it on the back as well so you guys can see that it's still the same even if you flip it. Bring it closer. Real it glows purple. Fake it glows blue. So with the ultraviolet technology aka the black light or blue UV light as some people like to call it. So that's just another cool feature that you can use on the real hundred dollar bills and I think normally they change like the hundred dollar bills like every ten years so like 2021 ish they're supposed to be issuing a new type so this video might become obsolete soon but not necessarily because this is not gonna go out of circulation they're just gonna make newer hundred dollar bills to add on so that's just another thing to look out for and on the back of every hundred dollar bill at least the newer ones it has Independence Hall and when you look at the back you look at the lettering, not the lettering, the outline for the 100, it should be like this dark cobalt blue, almost looks purplish, and it should be like really defined. It has the, that dark bluish purple outline, and then it has a white outline around it, so the white should be very distinguishable. So let's go ahead and bring them up to the camera for comparison. So you see the real, it has that dark bluish outline. And then the, the white glow around it. While as the fake, you can barely see like the glow, the, like that white glow. It's very faint and light. And um, also another cool thing is you can, you can look inside of the 100. Let me go ahead and get the camera to focus. And you can see like the quality. Like you'll see like the little, the little indentures for the, that little goldish brown thing right here. And on the fake one, it's like all different colors and it's just like meshed together. But on this one, it's much more bold. Like you'll see like the gradient. So it goes from a darker golden brown to a lighter one right here. While here, it kind of just remains like the same color. So you want to go ahead and look out for that when you're comparing a fake versus 100. Definitely look out for that. The color will tell a lot about the $100 bill. And like right here, the 100 at the... Well, let me go ahead and put this down real quick. I'm trying to focus on too many things at once. Alright. So you see you see the bottom hundred right here? This is pretty important too, because like on the fake it's grayed out. It's more grayed out, but right here it's it's a lot more green for the hundred. So definitely look out for that color as well. And uh what else am I missing? Hmm. Oh yeah, also, it, they have uh, counterfeit detection pens that you can buy online. So when you mark the, the bill in question that you're trying to analyze, it'll show up a certain color. It has like a label. So normally when you go to like a, a grocery store and you give 100 if they don't do that, putting the $100 bill in the light test that we just talked about earlier, when they put the oval in the light, so that way you can see which one is real and which one is fake. If you don't see Benjamin Franklin's face in there. They also use this counterfeit marker. So when the marks are supposed to show up a certain color. So depending on the brand of the counterfeit pen. They have like a key guide for you to go ahead and look that up as well. So definitely check that out online. And yeah. Like you can literally see like the color differences. Because 
they're on fix they're using actual paper it's not they're not using like the linen so if you you should always feel the texture of the money you know and also money has like this distinct smell since it's made out of linen and paper so you should always check that out if it smells like fresh ink then <laughs> that's probably fake so definitely go ahead and keep that in mind and another thing that I didn't mention on all the hundred dollar bills there's like the well this goes for any bill in general if it's a hundred it has like a hundred printed in like small yellow uh, numbering and on the fake hundred dollar bill the hundreds are printed in, in a fainter color but on the real it's more bold and defined so let's go ahead and put that up real quick just go ahead and put that down so you can see what I'm talking about. So that lettering right here, it's much more visible. The zeros they should be they should be defined and crisp. Whereas on the fake, the hundreds are more like blobs and like are pretty faded. Let me go ahead and let that focus real quick. See that? This is the fake. And then this is the real. But like I said, if you want to be do a quick like, you want to figure out which one is real or which one is fake faster, just use the oval, put it up to the light. And if you're if you're somehow buying something at night and you can't do that, having the UV light is perfect. You know, it's a quick way to tell if the money's real or fake. Just pull it out. If it glows purple, then it's real. If it glows blue, then it's fake. And also, if you use like the UV light on like twenty dollar bills and uh, fifty dollar bills or ten dollar bills or one dollar bill, there's, there's usually a a little blue strip or purple strip that shows up where like the hundred dollar bill strip would show up for the hologram part. So you just light it up and then you'll see it. It doesn't show up on a hundred dollar bill because they already have the strip visible. Because on all the other bills, it's not visible unless you have a UV light. So yeah. That's just the uh, ways you can tell if a hundred dollar bill is real or fake. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below or follow me on Instagram at hey underscore Ozzy, H E Y underscore O Z Z Y. And uh, this video is just for educational purposes. Don't ask me where to get counterfeit money because I'm not about to tell you. That's definitely legal and you can do some federal time for that. Just for educational purposes, just so I can put you guys on game. So invest in the UV light. Very cheap. You can get them online for like four or five bucks. If you want to get a bigger one, then it's obviously it's going to cost more. It's going to be like 10 to 20 depending on how big it is. And then you can intensify the, the UV light setting. And yeah, that will be all for this video. And I'm out. Peace. Cue ball. Cue ball. Yeah. Got a ass. These haters love to 